We're along West Adams Street in Creston. Now currently ATVs and UTVs are not allowed on city streets, but that could be changing soon. Golf carts are a different story. In late November, it is possible to see golf carts on the move in Creston, but they're on the golf course and only on the golf course, at least legally. But a divided city council is deciding whether to allow golf carts to join ATVs and UTVs on the streets. In my mind, a golf cart is designed for two things, to be used on the golf course or in a retirement community and we are neither. Matt Levine is in the minority of council members who opposed letting golf carts ride on the streets, but he supports allowing types of four-wheelers. When you look at that thing, the suspension, the tires, the fact that it's all enclosed, there are stoplights, you know, things like that, it appears to me like it can be driven on city streets. When you're looking at a golf cart, it's not made the same way. Danny Bird uses a four-wheeler and gator for snow removal, and he supports allowing more vehicles on the streets. I feel like that everybody should be at least 18 years or older to ride them or drive them, and then they should be treated just like anybody else to drive a vehicle. You know, if they're doing, breaking the law, then they get the, the same amount of ticket that anybody else would if they're driving a vehicle. The City Council takes up the issue of golf carts again next month. In Creston, Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.